Hey, welcome. My name is Ed. Today we are going to be uh, talking about the 2003 Focus SVT seats. Um, a lot of this applies to the other SVT years as well, um, but not the Recaro SVT seats. That's in the EAPE package or whatever it's called. So I'm going to tell you why I hate them. I'll give you my explanation why I do not like them. And um, people who have this car may agree, may disagree but this is just my own personal opinion on it. All right, so this is the car. So currently what I have in here is seats from a ZX3. It's not the SVT seats. The headrests are SVT headrests on there, but the seat itself is a ZX3 seats, they're cloth. And then of course I got seat covers on them. So ZX3 seats are, you know, they're fairly nice. They're not too firm. They have a little bit of a cushion to them. They do have some bolstering over here. Um, to get in and out, you flick this, and then the person in the back has that. To recline, you have that. Nice, you know, pull it up and put it wherever you want. So you go in your car, you wanna lay down, pull it up, lay it down, that's it, easy. And then, your typical slide right here. Uh, there we go. And then this, I don't know what that does. Or maybe it's a height, I don't know. I'm sure it does something cool. All right, so let's look at the SVT seats. Okay, so the seats are my parts car, so it's, it's a mess. I'm sorry. It is what it is. These are the seats. They look pretty good. Um, except this got torn out which is a pretty common um, issue with these seats. And I'll show you on the other side. Um, so you have leather, which gets kind of hot. And I don't, I'm not a big fan of leather because it doesn't really grip you as well as like fabric does. I prefer um, fabric, I don't know, I feel like it holds you a little bit better. You don't slide as easily. So. You know, you still have your, um, you know, slide, just like the other car. You got your up and down. Wait, there's nothing here. Okay, not too bad. To go get in the back seat, all you do is lift this thing up, and you tilt it forward to get back there. Simple. But what if you want to adjust the back? Let's say you sit in the car and you want to lay down while, you know, someone's inside running in the store to get something you want to just relax a little well you gotta go and twist this thing and it slowly goes up and down but if you're leaning on it this thing is super hard to turn especially trying to go up so you have to lean up forward twist this to where you want it and then you're set it is ridiculous why can't they just have a normal pull handle and just go sweep, you know. And so the other seats age, you know, ZX3 seats age pretty well, the fabric. This one, what happens is, and you see a lot of cars with this, the leather starts getting hard and then the stitching rips through with the center that's fabric and they start separating. And if you start looking at cars in Marketplace, you'll see a lot of them have this exact same issue. And same thing happened to the other side, except it slowly got worse and worse and started peeling off. So that is why I do not like the SVT seats. You know, I can live with the, you know, the leather uh, separating. Um, I can live with, um, you know, being able to slide on the leather. I can deal with that kind of stuff. I mean, it's part of having leather seats. What I cannot stand is that back that you have to twist to get it to where you want it and not being able to lean on it. That really sucks. I don't know, if you look at SVT, that's something to know about. Uh, thank you for watching, aloha, peace out. Catch you in the next one.